Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Griffin. Hello, happy Monday. How is everyone doing? So I wanted to come back today to do a review on the shampoo and conditioner that was in the um, March 2016 Curl Box, okay? So I'm going to review the Fight Fallout Niacin and Caffeine Conditioner and the shampoo. So I used them both yesterday. And um, before I used them, remember last week in my video for the um, unboxing of the Curl Box, I said I was unfamiliar with what a DHT blocker was. So I did some research. So... The, and I wrote some notes here. So the information that I found out is that DHT is a hormone and sometimes it's often associated with hair loss. So DHT blockers can reverse the effect of the, um, the hair breakdown because of the hormones by not allowing the hormone DHT to attach to the hair follicle. So I um, found some valuable information when I did my research. So... Um, I went ahead and used the product yesterday. I used both of these. Oh, let me turn it around. I used both of these guys to wash and condition my hair. So, um, the shampoo is supposed to be sulfate-free. So, although the bottle says it's sulfate-free, it did lather very well. And my um, experience with sulfate-free products has been... They don't always lather very well. And I like the suds. I love when I wash my hair to have that sudsy feeling. So I liked that um, it lathered well. It did not make my hair feel dry after I used it. Um, oftentimes I find that shampoo can be drying. So I didn't find that to be the case with this product. So, um, and I only did one wash with it. If you watched any of my earlier um, videos. I did say that I typically co-wash my hair with conditioner. I do use shampoo maybe um, every third week, but um, since I'm trying to see if this product really works to help with shedding and breakage, I am going to use both the shampoo and the conditioner together for about a month to see how it how my hair does with it. So the conditioner. Um, I love that as well. Both products have a really nice smell, not too fragrant, very clean. Um, I did like the conditioner. It left my hair soft and manageable. So after I washed my hair yesterday, I did a um, two-strand twist and put some rods on it just to give my hair a little bit of um, definition. So I felt like my hair was manageable and soft after using this conditioner. I um, use Hello Hydration. That's like my staple conditioner. But, um, you know, I don't know if I would purchase this item on my own. But um, I gave it a thumbs up. And remember, in my curl box from February, this um, True Hydrating Hair Butter was in there. I actually love this product. I've been using it for about a week now. And um, it really does leave your hair very hydrated. So initially I said that, you know, I didn't know if I would like this product because I feel like it has more of a lotiony texture. It's not a heavy cream that um, I typically prefer. So I'll let you see it here. So it's a little more loose than um, a cream. It is a cream based product, but it's not as creamy as I am used to for products that I prefer in my hair. But I will say, this is really hydrating. So, you know, I give this one a thumbs up as well. So thumbs up all around for all of these products and they were featured in the curl boxes. So this was March 2016 and this product was in the February box. So if you are looking for um, some new products, you might wanna check these out. So, I am going to come back with another video in about three weeks to let you guys know how I truly feel about this shampoo and conditioner set because I feel like I have to give it a couple more washes for me to definitely um, 
give you my honest opinion about them. So, also, I'm excited. So, I want to do a Sephora haul, right? So, I went to Sephora over the weekend. I had some gift cards from Christmas. And um, I think I had $75 worth of gift cards. So, I ended up getting quite a few, um, you know, items for my $75 gift card. And I only spent... 30 of my own dollars. So I was pretty excited about that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what's in my bag because I'm pretty excited about these products. Nothing major, but you know, I'm pretty excited, especially because I didn't have to spend a lot of money on them. So um, I got my birthday gift because I had never gotten that. My birthday was in December. So they had two options. It was either these fresh products or a Marc Jacobs product. So I decided to go ahead and try this. This is a soy face cleanser made by Fresh. And this is a rose face mask and it's infused with real rose petals and it hydrates and it tones your skin. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. So these are only um, 0.6 ounces for the face wash and uh, 0.5 ounces for the mask. But big enough for me to try and see if I like it. And I love um, Fresh's products. So the other thing I got was I had some um, points because I had not been to Sephora in a while. So I have um, this Diva Curl One Condition. This is an ultra creamy daily conditioner. So this is the product by Diva Curl. I've never tried their products and I've been wanting to try their products. So... Um, yeah, I got that. That was free. And then I got my favorite um, flower balm. This is my favorite perfume ever. But let me tell you something. I'm cheap. So uh, I don't wear perfume every day. But I like to have this. This is my favorite. This smells so, 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 so yummy. Um, but I always get the roller bulb. I never... I never buy <laughs> the big one because I'm cheap. I don't want to pay for it. So this is um, a 0.24 ounce or a 7 ml spray with a 15 ml vial. So you can refill this little bottle. And um, I also like this perfume because the bottle is pretty. The bigger one is much prettier but again I'm cheap I always get the roller bowl so this one um will do me just fine it'll probably take me through spring and the other things I got were um I got this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I got um this Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss it's a really pretty purple color so I um, gravitate toward like wine and berry colors for my lips. I don't do much with my face on a regular basis, but um, daily I may put on a lip color depending on how I'm feeling. So um, I'm really interested in trying that out. And what else did I get? I got um, this Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Eye Pencil. And, oh, I got this cute. I've had my eyes on these little pouches since Christmas. So, this one says, my lip stain is sealed. So, this is a little bag. You can put all your lipsticks in it. I put a lot of my lip colors in here already. And it came with this um, lip stain. And it's a red. I don't know the name of the color. But it's a really deep red color. So, I thought that was pretty neat. So that is all that's in my bag. I was pretty excited about that again because for all of these items, which, you know, cosmetics and beauty products are very expensive. Um, and even though some of these are small, I think I can, you know, at least try them out and see how I like them. But for me to spend $32 for my little bag of goodies, I was excited. And, um... This is another thing I'm excited about, ColourPop. So this is a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. So I had that on today, and again, I'm no makeup artist, but I will, I do like to wear a nice lip color. So I really like this. This is a liquid, but it dries as a matte. See, it's a liquid, dries as a matte. 
Um, I do recommend if you try this that you definitely wear a um, primer because it does stain your lips. But I really, really like this product. I think these were like $5 at ColourPop.com. So I'm happy about those. So that's all I have today. I just wanted to, basically, I wanted to review the um, shampoo and conditioner from the Curlbox March 2016. And um, then I just threw in my little Sephora, my mini haul from Sephora. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like, share, subscribe, um, give me a thumbs up, and thank you for watching. Please come back to the C.Spot for my next installment. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.